Happy Friday, Polynauts! Today is August 23rd, 2013. I'm Sumit Sarkar, and you're watching Speedrun Microtransaction Edition. We learned today that Xbox One launch title Rise Son of Rome will use microtransactions in its cooperative multiplayer mode. Players will be able to spend real-world cash to buy booster packs of armor or gold. There are more than 700 pieces of armor divided across five tiers. The multiplayer character's level is tied to what they can access. As they progress, they unlock new tiers of armor, which can be purchased with cash or gold. Players can earn gold just by playing the game, or they can spend cash to buy gold. Developer Crytek told Polygon that it's going to give players the option to spend a couple of bucks to skip a couple of hours of the game, because paying money to not play a game makes perfect sense. Free-to-play games are like a resort experience. At least, that's what publisher Ubisoft thinks. The company has recently been focusing on free-to-play online titles, and its online editorial director told Polygon that the business model is based on a resort mentality that can cater to all player types. In this sense, players are treated as resort goers who each have different interests that are all catered for under a single roof. The company first began integrating free-to-play design slowly under the belief it needed to adapt to a change in player behavior. And now, a message from our editors at Polygon. You have reached the maximum number of news items for the day. To proceed, please give us your life savings, your firstborn, and half a tomato. Go on, do it! The Elder Scrolls Online will require a subscription fee. Polygon senior reporter Colin Campbell thinks that's self-defeating. In an opinion piece, Colin said the $15 monthly fee on top of the upfront purchase that Elder Scrolls Online is asking for is high in comparison to just about any other gaming option on the market. The only other MMOs to charge that much are World of Warcraft, which is losing players at a rapid rate, and EVE Online, which at least lets players pay using earned in-game currency. Colin suggests that ZeniMax rethink its pricing strategy, especially in the current climate of free-to-play games. Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer plans to retire from his position within the next 12 months. In a company-wide email, Ballmer said that there is never a perfect time for this type of transition, but now is the right time. Ballmer, who has been with Microsoft since 1980 and has served as CEO since 2000, will stay on as CEO until the company appoints a successor. Microsoft's board of directors has put together a committee to lead the search that will consider both internal and external candidates. We brought in a special guest, SB Nation's Dan Rubenstein, to review the kickoff to the fall season of sports games, Madden NFL 25. Madden is more video gamey than ever, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, says Dan. It means that while Madden 25 is less of a realistic simulation, it's more fun to play. And for a long time, the series has been about simulating the experience of watching a football game on TV rather than football itself anyway. Sounds like Madden's got enough for football nerds, pigskin newbies, and everyone in between. Check out our full review with video for all the details. That's all she wrote, Polynauts. Alexa Ray will be back next week. To skip everything between now and Monday so you can see her sooner, please go to our shop front and buy a reporter booster pack.